Hello, hello. As you can see at the beginning, I had my had my window up, and then now we're into it. So we are uh, going into the first fallout this morning. This is the build that I typically go with almost every time. This I would consider this to be like if. I, there might be a little bit of hyperbole here, but, like, the best build to use uh, for this game. Obviously, you can play around and have your own fun and, you know, do whatever you want to do. But to me, this build gets shit going. It's good to see everybody. By the way, Tostadora, Khan, uh, Dago is gaming, uh, Igor. No gifted. No, 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 no. Not in the first one, no. Um, this is not my first time. Uh, bread zone. I've played through this since I was 12 years old. I've been playing through this game. Um, but yes, it's good to see you guys. Uh, hello to you all. It's about 3.30 a.m. for me over here on the West Coast. Uh, I have backstage and front row tickets to WWE tonight. Woke up early because I slept all shitty yesterday. I slept like during the day. So I figured to do this early because I have a whole fucking day ahead of me and I wanted to do a stream. So Let's listen to Jacker in here. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Yo, electric piano one. with a fat $10 super chat. Going to Fallout New Vegas system. Day 2024. My friends want to go as well. Simply thank you for doing what you do. Can't wait to meet you. Hey, I'll be there. Uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, water, that's. No I'm fault. so genuinely... This is crucial. Uh, like, thankful survival. to be a part of that, uh, the way that I am, frankly, that event. It's like Christmas for me every single I think the time I go. Hope we have. So I'm excited to see you out there, you Electric Piano. Make sure to tell me, oh, hey, I was Electric Piano. Chip. Like, I, I bet y'all remember it. We have four to five <laughs> I remember this one. The vault runs out of water. Red Zone 11, 33 a.m. for you. Are, you ship. must be outside the United States then. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place yeah, to Nikki, start, uh, I think. Nikki sounds like she'll Look, be there too. Just be safe. Killed it last year. Okay. Star of the show last year. An obese ten dollars, yeah, Bridza. Oh shit, Electric Piano became a member too. Thank you, Electric Piano, for all the support. I appreciate you. And it's weird that your membership thing is like showing up before your super chat d does. Uh, those have been slow lately to like go through. So eventually it should say that you super chatted and put your name on the board as well for that. Thank you very much. Welcome to a tribe called Mantis. First we'll search Ed here. Get our comeuppance. Well, I mean, that's not really what that means, but... Um, so first here, I want to make sure that we... Oh, shit! Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, we've already goofed up, boys. Luckily, there's... Watch watch this. Luckily, there's a way I have a, a failsafe for this. So, uh, I have that character saved. So if you just go to... You can save your character loadouts. And this one's just the sniper build. Click them, got the character. I accidentally did quick load in, instead of quick save, so that was my mistake. Uh, quick save for the Max Chad stream. Load up this bad boy. And then, uh, time to fight some rats. <laughs> and at the beginning, unless you spec into unarmed, like, your own arm stats are shit, but I don't like really wasting... I wonder, actually. Unarmed is 72. Melee's... Okay, I'll probably... I'll just use a knife then, because it's going to be the same. For the most part. Maybe a little less of a chance of a hit. So my don't... No, we're not done with my new uh, Vegas playthrough. I remember seeing the Keith Deeds account. Uh, 
You haven't been in a stream since New Vegas VOD number two. Yeah, we're on episode eight of the New Vegas stream. And, uh, it's still going. My Lonesome Road is next. That should be the next episode of it. Maybe I should just do unarmed. Shit. Uh, Mr. Red with a fat five dollars. Planning on doing challenge runs. It's... Can you beat Fallout 3 as Michael Myers? Can you beat Evan V as Mike Tyson? Can you beat Fallout 4 as the Enclave? Any ideas? No, I'm actually really bad at coming up with challenge ideas. Um, it's not something I typically do on my channel, even in streams. Um, but the ones that you have listed there sound fun, for sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the super chat, Mr. Red. Now I'm thinking we're going to take out all the rats here. I like for them to attack first, because then they skip their next sequence, and you can get a few shots off on them. Might not happen with this one, because we, we're still in combat, so hopefully I take them out here. Nope. Yeah. All right. I love the ambient music by Mark Morgan. In the original Fallout, Fallout 2 uses the same uh, composer as well, Mark Morgan, and a lot of the same songs, honestly. But it's just so good, it sets the tone so well. This is the start of Fallout 1, yes. Yeah, Nikki, well, I'm glad you like them as well. At least I don't feel like I'm just up being a weirdo at 3 in the morning playing Fallout all the time. But, you know what, 3 in the morning is the best time to play Fallout. Rest assured, I am not still up. I woke up uh, like an hour or so ago because I slept during the day. So my sleeping schedule's all fucked up. And thank you for the live reacts, everyone. Yeah, press up for the rats, absolutely. They deserve your respect. The little kick animation, yeah, you like that, Patty? <laughs> In Fallout 2, you can pick between punching and kicking, but in Fallout, uh, this, uh, the first Fallout, it switches when you're in unarmed, it switches between the two. And we're actually, ooh, there they are. Getting some work done in these rats, though. But, I mean, I could be using my gun right now, which I'm going to have higher stats in. But I just feel like it's a waste of ammo at the beginning to um, use it on the rats. Especially because we'll have the rad scorpion caves after we get to Shady Sands. Pretty much, uh, we just turn based our way through these rats. Then, um, eventually, we'll get out of here and see natural light for the first time. It's one of my favorite uh, green text messages in the classic Fallout games. It's for the first time in your life you're looking at natural light or something like that. We'll, uh, we'll see it when we get to the end of the cave here. Sam, I did a playthrough of this. I, I have not seen that. Is that real? Not me? Uh, that's fucking, that'd be interesting. That guy's a character. <laughs> to like, the extreme. <laughs> that guy's an extreme character. So it'd be fun to see his take. <laughs> I have to look that up. There we go. Yeah, the roundhouse animation is fucking top tier. Damn, not me. I'm gonna have to look that up. There we go. Yeah, we're almost done with the. I mean, but they, it's so worth the experience. Wow. Oh, he doesn't even care. Look at that. 
Ah, uh, he was just goading me into attacking first. Nice try. I know your tricks, Mr. Rat. Twenty, like, five years experience on these rats, and I just didn't show it right there. Alright, get on over here. There we go. There we go. Okay, so there's only one rat left, and then natural light, boys. That's right, Mr. Rude. Use your guns instead of your guns. Um, that might be some reverse speaking. It would make sense. It would track with the rest of the soundtrack. It could also just be, like, somebody saying, like, stuff that's supposed to sound like it's in tongues as well. It's hard to... Hard to know. Raven Commander has been a member for five months. Damn, that's awesome. Your work is crazy. Almost as crazy as my schedule. Yeah, well... My schedule isn't crazy, I'm just lazy and haven't made one, and so it might seem crazy on the outside. Though, I've been busier lately. Uh, dude, especially last month, like, fuck, jeez. Uh, not last month, uh, last year. Like, at the end of last year, I was all over the place. I was in, flew to Seattle, met Tim Kaine, uh, flew back home, a couple weeks later flew out to Vegas for Fallout New Vegas Day, stayed there for like five days. Um, it was fucking rad, love Vegas. And then, um, you know, back home, it was just, it was just a lot for me. <laughs> I was on, like, six plates in the, <laughs> the, like, fucking last four months of the year. To the west, you can see a natural light. For the first time in your life, you were looking at the outside world. Fucking love that. It's top tier. Spoke to me as a, as a child. So, you click Vault 15, but we always stop at Shady Sands. If you don't stop at Shady Sands, you're gonna have a bad time. Oh, it might be Russian. That, that could be the case, Dingus, maybe. Hey, Seth. Tell me about this place. Tell me about the Scorps. Tell me about the Raiders. The Raiders are the cons. And see, with uh, uh, Katrina here, you can just go through all of her stuff and you get 250 XP. Just for It's weird that I haven't leveled up yet. Um... But that free 250 XP, don't miss it. There's no reason to ever miss that. Here, we're gonna grab this scout book. There's a couple more things we're gonna grab before we really get settled here. Electric Piano again, damn. Third Super Chat on the live stream. Thank you for playing New Vegas so much lately. It's my favorite game of all time and my friends don't understand why you don't shut up about it. I can, un I can relate uh, as I don't shut the fuck up about Fallout as well. But, uh, no problem. Uh, I've been wanting to do more streams, and I'm just excited people want to watch them. You know what I mean? And you guys come in the chat and hang out, and... It's fucking really cool. Uh, what is the chat saying, by the way? Uh, stream while I'm awake is a treat. Yeah, White Fox, welcome. Uh, Dat Squirrel, good to see you guys. I'm just making sure I don't miss anybody. MMM certified. It's been forever since you've seen this. Doing God's work, I just love I Dude, I love these games. Oh shit, I did that wrong. That's interesting. That's interesting, I wonder. Oh my god, that's weird that they're letting me do this. I Like, usually you have to sneak and they get pissed off if you uh, rummage to their shit, you know? Okay. Let's do this. That'll boost our outdoorsmen. This'll boost our first aid. Good eye. Um, isn't oh, I, they do mix a lot of uh, Mark Morgan's classic Fallout soundtrack into New Vegas? Yes. Uh, who said that? Who said that shit? I'm looking through the chat. Who the fuck said that? Where is that? Isn't this... Oh, okay. KM uh, Shah, Shahin? Am I saying that correctly? Regardless, yes. Uh, it's like they've remixed a lot of it into it. Um, 
So you can you can hear references to it a lot. And then sometimes just straight up songs play that were from Fallout 1 and 2. And typically I don't like saying Fallout 1, because that's not what the game's called. But every once in a while just to like, you know, fucking <laughs> differentiate and say it easy. Uh, so he, uh, Ian here will, this is my favorite companion in all of Fallout, because it's one of the first ones I ever got. Uh, and I just always liked the way he looked. Long hair, fucking leather jacket, blue jeans, he looks fucking dope as hell. But um, he gives you directions to the hub and junk town, which is nice. Um, also, we can ask him, uh, he wants 100 caps, but usually he'll be like, yeah, I'll take a piece of the action instead. Boom. Now you do have to have, um, what do I have? I have speech tag, so I feel like if you have speech tag, you're gonna be fine. Plus, uh, uh, yeah, because my charisma's at one, so. Um, we're gonna go over here and teach homie about crop rotation. Do you know what the battle music that has those drum beats? No, I, I'm not very familiar with like who made the Fallout 3. I'm pretty sure Inn and Zero made like all of those songs. Because I know he made all of the Starfield songs, all of the. Not Skyrim. Skyrim had an orchestra. But Fallout. No, maybe. Maybe Inn and. No, I think Inn and Zero was in Fallout 3. Um, but I know he was in Fallout 4. And it's the same kind of style. You know what I mean? Um, you're talking about is Oxhorn's the pit intro? I'm not familiar with what his pit intro thing is. Um, but yeah, and then somebody asked, um, if I liked sports games. Dude, NFL Street was, uh, NBA Street was fun too. I, I remember when I was a kid during the time this game had first come out, Fallout had just come out, there was this series called, and sometimes you can still, there was, like, they moved them to the DS and stuff like that. But a backyard basketball, backyard baseball, stuff like that. It, they were so fun on PC back in the day. I played the shit out of those. But um, I'm into WWE games. I like those. I like the UFC games. Um, I haven't really... Uh, I liked the show, MLB The Show. Like, uh, I, But I don't really watch a lot of organized team sports. So my connection to that isn't as strong as like uh, pro wrestling or mixed martial arts. Um... Yeah, so we can tell the farmer here that he shouldn't plant all of his crops at one time. He should rotate them throughout the fucking year and then we level up. So we're going to dump this into, uh, shit. I'm trying to think of speech. Until speech is at 100. 100 is not the top, by the way, in the first fall. Yeah, your skills don't even really, like... I wouldn't even consider it a master until post 150, 160. I have played, um, thank you, by the way, PI, for the $2 super chat there. Um, I have played Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. That's the only mod I've played for the classic games, unless you count the F online mods. I, I played those. Uh, and then we'll put the rest into our guns here. Okay. There's a rope up here we need. I forget, can you fix this well? Is that... I know you can in Fallout 2, there's one. But I'm just seeing if... Okay. Just making sure. So we get this rope. And another scout book. Which is nice. Let's read that up right now. Which has gotten our outdoorsman skill, because we sort of have two of those now. It's up to 43%, which is a lot better than it was. And uh, that is what dictates the encounters, how frequent your encounters and how hostile your encounters are on the world map as we're going from place to place. Okay, so where's Tandy? Oh, there she is. Okay. So we'll talk to Tandy, and then we'll talk to Eridish, and then we'll fuck off to the Scorpion Hi. Caves. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Hey, another $2 super chat from PI. Yeah, I played 1.5, got to the end, and couldn't beat. Yeah, I got stuck too, but it's, it's really good. They did a really good job on that. That's probably one of my favorite mods. 
just because they keep it lore friendly. Like everything seems like it is just an extension of the game, you know. That and a Killops restoration patch for Fallout 2 that adds cut content back into the game. Uh, I have used that mod as well. Fucking fantastic. Killops Killop is a literally did God's work with that. Literally, like people throw that around a lot, but Killop and his restoration patch literally did God's work for Fallout 2. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. I didn't so, what you need? I didn't say the thing to make her say the fucking line that I like so much. Finally, someone else who sees. There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. No problem. Anything else? We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. Uh, and it's the closest thing yeah. to excitement we've got here. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely be streaming those types of mods. Uh, not only you know, does it give me something to stream on the channel, but I think they're super interesting as well. Like Sonora. I've never even played Sonora. But um, there's a few of them. So yeah, we'll be checking them. But thank you so much for all uh, for your support, man. All the all those super chats that you're sending, by the way. Don't feel like you have to super chat me for me to respond to you, by the way. <laughs> but I do appreciate the support. Just stuff. Um, East Ten, of course, we can bake with me every fucking no problem. Day. Anything else? Just stuff. No problem. Anything else? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all, but it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. Yeah, real safe. And so boring, I think my brain's gonna leak out of my ear at any moment. Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart this attack. This is Chris Summer, by the way. A world renowned voice actress, Chris Summer. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, <sighs> see ya. Yeah, for sure, P.I. Yeah, no, we'll we'll definitely be checking them out, and then uh, now we'll be checking out Eridish. Uh Yeah, I have all the Creation Club stuff for Fallout Four. Uh, my favorite, I really like the arcade machines. I really like the Zayton Arsenal. I really like uh, fuck uh, the Capital, like uh, Wasteland Mercenary. You know, when you go back to uh, what the fuck is that place called? Galaxy News uh, Radio with, uh, you know, three dogs. Greetings. Place. Your Electric piano with about five dollars. Be... What do you think of Paladin Harden versus Elder McNamara? Honest opinion. Uh, I side with McNamara most of the time. I feel like Harden's out of line. I mean, it's not that, it's, that he's wrong. He's just, like, I believe in the rank system there. And he, uh, McNamara is Elder for a reason. And he doesn't, uh, McNamara's not even showing signs of being fucking off, you know? Like, he's just, he just doesn't like what he's doing. But uh, thank you, Electric Pan. Tell me if I'm wrong, by the way. I'm, it, that's just, like, off the cuff uh, stuff. Starfield will definitely be getting Creation Club Raven Commander. Um, will it be more stable than Fallout? It's our, it, was, it launched more stable than Fallout 4. Uh, Starfield, I've, I've had, like, one crash in Starfield. Um, there was a couple of bugs that I've encountered, but... Uh, Wanderer, I shall believe you. Like for now, Starfield's you may problems enter definitely sands, aren't in its But ability. be warned, your every move will be watched. We're just using Daniel. We're just using the typical sniper build. It's Certainly. pretty much my favorite one to what use. What do you wish to know? Junk Town lies south of here. This is Tony Shalhoub of Monk Little in the way of visitation. Fame. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Oh my yes, great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Okay, so we can talk to him afterwards because all he ends up doing is making antidote for the rat scorpion stings that we get. So we'll talk to Seth here and he will 
take us to the Rad Scorpion Caves. Okay. So our shit gets real. Nah, it's fine. Okay. And you gotta watch out, because Ian will fucking <laughs> murk you. <laughs> he likes to miss his shots and hit you instead. Ooh, damn. That went down. My chance is just like normal. 52. Nice. Okay. So here... Oops. Here we will... Take one of those. P.I. with a fat $5. I love the aesthetics of Fallout 1 and 2. The show should have taken hints. The atmosphere is just dark. Yeah, I really like the bleakness of the games. Oh, you'd be <laughs> beating it on deployment. Well, thank you uh, for serving. And then also, thank you for the super chat. And then also, you're right. I do think, though, that the Fallout show aesthetically looks all right. I, I think whoever did like the set design and the prop design really took a look at like Fallout 4 and made sure that it looked like it was in that universe and I appreciate the work on that you know what I mean like I appreciate somebody at least thinking enough to take the time to do that because you could have had somebody who didn't give a shit you know so th while I do like the aesthetic of the first two Fallout games like I at least appreciate that somebody is taking the time to make it look like Fallout you know we'll shoot him in the brain Was hit in the brain for seven hit points. Okay. Ah, I knew I was gonna fuck that up. Okay. So I grab two of these typically when I'm here. Because then I can make... There's somebody... Jarvis, I think his name is, in the back of the clinic in Shady Sands. Who is sick with scorp poison. So I like to get one for me and get one for him. And then, uh, you know... I feel good about myself for it. Yeah, wait till we get the sniper rifle. This is <laughs> this build really starts to pick up. Oh shit! Yeah. How dare you? I should be aiming my shots, honestly, especially that close. Oh, dude, I love uh, Lord. Um, how, I'm gonna fuck up saying his name. Warlockracy. Maybe. Oh, hopefully, I said that right. Dude, yeah. Uh, he posts a, he posts great shit on Twitter, and then also makes dope videos on really cool shit. So I'm right there with you on him. Oh, uh, this Rad Scorpion's only unconscious. So nice try, Rad Scorpion. Oh, there he goes. 95 still missed. Fuck me. This scorpion wants nothing to do with this. Oh, it's dead. Oh, okay. Oh, Ian killed one down here, too. Perfect. Am I drunk, too? 
Uh, no, I don't drink. Uh, I partake in a little bit of the devil's lettuce, but uh, I quit drinking in my like mid twenties. And I am almost, I'm fucking almost forty now. Ridiculous. I'm Thirty six years old. Can't believe it. That snuck up on me. <laughs> Just wake up one day old. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> the fuck happened? <laughs> okay. No one unarmed build? Yeah, okay. No. Cringe, okay. When are you gonna do your uh, unarmed build stream? Their enclave soldier. <laughs> it would be fun to do an unarmed build. Um, melee builds would be fun too. I've only done a. I've only done like a melee build. I think like once in the first Fallout. So it would be kind of fun to to jump into something like that. Yeah. Okay. So that's the end of those. Um, What's my favorite random encounter in each game? So are you referring to Fallout? Okay, hold up. Jesus Christ. Depends on what question you're asking here, Mr. Red. Thank you for the super chat. Are you referring to like Fallout and Fallout 2? Or are you referring to like Fallout, Fallout 2, Tactics? I guess Brotherhood of Steel didn't really have random encounters. Um... Three New Vegas, four, and seventy-six. Or are you just referring to the classics? Because I, I look at the random encounter system as like really part of the classics, even though I guess they do happen in the Bethesda games. But you're referring to all the games. Okay, Jesus Christ. Um, hopefully, I can use special encounters in this because special encounters aren't necessarily random. Um, no, well, I I'll have a drink every once in a while, Bayside. Like, uh, Steve from Good Springs Saloon, from the Pioneer Saloon, who runs that and does New Vegas Day, like, if, if he offers me a shot when I get there, I obviously will take the fucking shot out of respect. I'm not, I'm not some kind of fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, uh, I, I just don't, I don't drink a lot. I don't, I don't go out, like, it, that's like a once a year, once every other year kind of thing. Uh, it's just, it doesn't appeal to me anymore. Uh, more power ah, to everybody things who likes are it. much more settled now. Anyway, Roslo has been working on a cure the UFO for the rad scorpion poison. To answer and Mr. With that, Red's you are question, true by. I like um, the UFO in the first Fallout with the fuzzy Elvis painting. In Fallout Two, uh, it's the Guardian of Forever, where you can go back in time and break the water chip. In the first Fallout, as the chosen one in Fallout Two, uh, in Tactics. Finding, they refer to him as the Pip Boy in Fallout Tactics. Uh, we all know him as Vault Boy now. But um, that one's probably my favorite in Tactics. Uh, for Fallout 3. Oh man, there's a few to pick from. There's a few to pick from. Before Mothership Zeta came out, it was finding the crashed alien spaceship. Uh, since that doesn't really count anymore because it's a kickoff to a DLC, I would have to say God, that one is the is it Fallout Three, where that guy that I think it's a ghoul maybe it's not a ghoul, but he has he has a bunch of bombs strapped all through yeah I think it's in Georgetown, where he's like speaking all this craziness about the sun through a uh, fucking uh, like megaphone or something like that, or like a PA system, and uh, if you get too close, he blows everything up. I'm pretty sure that's Fallout Three. Yeah, that's three. Okay, okay. So that one's my favorite in three. <coughs> For New Vegas, I see. I like alien stuff, so like I really like the alien encounter that we get with Wild Wasteland. Um. I also like I'm thinking here. I 
I'm just gonna go with... I don't know if we'd count the guy who's selling Winded Brahmin as a random encounter. Um, but those two, I mean, and then uh, for Fallout 4, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna have to go with uh, when you find all the named ghouls from Sanctuary Hills, implying that uh, your friends and neighbors that you lived with in Sanctuary Hills before the war are now ghoulified. I really like that one. Um, And for 76, it's uh, when you run into like a red-eyed hostile, well, I guess you might not be hostile sometimes, but uh, Mothman. My favorite encounter in the entire franchise Jedi is the Guardian of Forever in Fallout 2. You go through uh, this portal that is a reference to Star Trek. You go through this portal and you end up in Vault 13 right before the events of the first Fallout and you type on a computer and the water chip breaks and in the chat, and then the chat, but this thing, the information window, the green text, it's like, for some reason, this this uh, makes you feel like good inside or something like that, knowing like you know because it sets your birth into motion. Anyway, <laughs> that's my favorite one in the whole series. The holy hand grenades are good too. Yes. Oh, the charge card. Yeah, a mill. Emil's, in my opinion, his biggest, his, his uh, best contribution to the Fallout series. The charge card. Yeah, that shit's hilarious. That is, mm. Yeah, that's really good. Alright, Jarvis has been... Uh, fixed. Finding Seymour in Lonesome Road. Oof. Yeah, man. You're not wrong, though. Okay. So, now we will head to Vault 15. Especially because we can get our first uh, actual armor there with our leather jacket. Ooh. A little bit of bonus rats. The groin. For four hit points. Oh, it's a greater Morat too. We're gonna get fucked up. Oh, you dick. There we go. Nice, Ian. Nice. Nice. Ooh, Ian, no. If he dies, I'm reloading. <laughs> I ain't about that life. Nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know he's gonna fucking... Ooh, yeah. Raven Commander, third super chat on a live stream, Fat Toonie. Have you ever been able to get a Legion run done? Yeah, but we've streamed uh, Legion runs before. I think a couple of them. I mean, they're not, they're obviously not the most popular. Like, what I mean by popular is like, they're not the most frequent uh, run that I do, but I, I know that I've done at least one, but I think we've done two on stream. Off stream, I've done it a couple of times, because uh, I, you know, got, went through grabbed all the achievements and in doing so you end up going through pretty much every fucking thing electric piano thank you well thank you what are you thanking me for what did I do well anyway thank you <laughs> electric piano now we'll do it again uh, Raven Commander. Probably next time we play New Vegas we'll end up doing it because we're doing an NCR run on this playthrough. All 
All right, Ian, let's do this. You can help me with these rats. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay, Ian, get him. Nice. Smashing it. <laughs> Fucking roundhouse kick a rat. Oops. Fuck. Ian. Come on, dude. Really? I should have done better. That was my fault. <laughs> Is the metal blaster from the pit and fallout through the closest thing we'll have to a laser shotgun? But perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I do like the metal blaster though. Shit, Ian. Oh, don't waste fucking ammo on this guy. The bigger ones are alright to shoot, but... Oh, you missed. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's bigger ones in here. Use these as you know, bartering tools. Ah, oh, fuck. Take the shot and fucking run away. Fuck it, I'm using a stimmy. I don't like being that low on health. Um, there we go. It's like, ooh, he did break through. He got him. Oh, don't, oh, I was gonna say, don't you fucking hit me. <laughs> Bucket. Oh no. Immediately missed. Oh, okay. That's weird. Him, of course. Done so. Shit, every time. Right. Oh, damn, okay. So, old, uh, Fortran. Fortran. Fat five dollars. First super chat on a live stream. Thank you. And, uh, uh, old Fortran. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Fortran. And then PI, I was trained in the military, too. Always troll when given the opportunity to do so. Well, that's, <laughs> that's good, uh, our, our tax dollars hard at work training the best of a generation, in my opinion. Um... Uh, what's my favorite companion from each game? That, but, but by the way, P.I. and Old Fortran, thank you guys very much for the $5 Super Chats. I appreciate you very much. And uh, to answer that question, Ian, Sulik, Fox, Boone slash Rex, Dogmeat for Fallout 4. Dogmeat for most of them that he appears in. I guess all of them.
Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure Josh Sawyer did pillars. I own them, but I haven't really checked them out. What? I used a rope. Oh, you cannot get there. Okay. What? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? I've never seen this happen before. Ian, get out of the way. Okay. Um. Rope. <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening? There we go. What the fuck was that about? Jeez Louise. <coughs> I've never had that happen before. And then we can get our first pretty good gun down here too. It's hidden very well. Fuck off with the missing. Oh, you just finished this yesterday, Arena. Nice. Okay, the body. Fuck. Ian's doing work. Okay, so yeah, the hunting rifle is down here, as I was saying, but uh, I don't have a mod or anything that highlights items. In Fallout 2, you can hold like Alt or Shift or something like that, and uh, the items will be highlighted. There it is. But these only highlight when you like are actually you know, put the cursor over them. So now we have the hunting rifle, and shit just got real. But I don't want to waste the hunting rifle <laughs> on the rats. At least not on these rats. Yes, you do need to play Fallout again, nutty. Get him in. Thank you for the live reacts there. Oh, Patty wants the members to spam the power armor uh, helmet emoji, since this is the first Fallout. Well, we'll see if they will. <laughs> okay, so would stop sign be a cool melee? Way? Yeah. Uh, well, they have like the nuka break sign in a. New Vegas, I always thought was an excellent weapon, but yeah, I think it's just like grab a, this is a stop sign by its pole and just yeah, why wouldn't it be? Damn, yeah, look at all those power armors, nice guys, thank you. Plus, it's great that Patty Dunn did it again, or is the one who uh, drew those emojis, and I just can't get over how good of a job they did. There we go. I don't mind. Gosh darn watch. Bayside the First becoming a Vault Dweller. Thank you so much. And welcome to a trap called Mantis. Like I said, there's going to be a lot more member videos coming this year. Um, now that there's more members, I, I believe I'm able to more accurately poll the audience and be like, what would you like to see in members content? So look out for that. If you do become a member on these streams, 
Definitely make sure to check out the description of the videos and the streams for the Discord link, um, which I'm going to have Nightbot start actually posting as well. Uh, because that's where the majority, and I don't want to say the majority, but like, uh, you're missing out on benefits if you don't use the Discord server. So, um, yes. And we just got our leather jacket. Let's just wander in here. Yeah, you can take care of that again. There's a whole nother rat in there, dude. <clears throat> the best fourth wall that's how you usually see okay well um anybody who is a channel member oh fuck are we stuck ian get out of the way thank you um anybody who's a channel member and also a member of the discord do me a favor and go post in the actual like uh members i think it's called vault 420 the actual members like room and discord because i have a suspicion that like th there's just not a lot of like chatting there so either people aren't using it which is definitely a possibility or people can't use it so i want to make sure that the permissions are okay so could you do that and then tell me in the chat if you were able to post there and like read it and like everything like that just because i want to make sure that the permissions work and we're going to start using that board a lot since there's so many more members now. So that's why I encourage you guys, join the Discord server. Um, it's a pretty slow server. Like, there's not a whole lot of action in there. Like, not a whole lot of people talk. Uh, we have fine moderation. Uh, the same moderators for like four years now. And uh, there are my friends at this point. And yeah. And then, uh, Mr. Red wanted to know what the best fourth wall break in Fallout was. Again, I'm gonna... wait. I'm gonna have to say the... The Guardian of Forever in Fallout 2 for my personal choice. I do have a beast of a desktop, yeah. I uh, maxed. I went to Alienware and maxed out the a whole rig when I bought this. Uh, it's getting close to six months ago. Yeah, have a good one, Raven Commander. I hope you have good sleep. Um, and I just maxed everything out. Um, it has some issues that I feel like other PCs may not have that I was warned about with Alienware. But other than that, like when it comes to just running games, like. It's there's it. I've never had a computer that <laughs> I could just run everything ultra fucking good to go, you know. I have to give Ian that, but that'll more than likely lead to our deaths. Yeah, okay, Excel. That's what I was actually thinking too. I was like, I don't really know if. The Guardian of Forever is a fourth wall break, though. What do you... Oh, Excel's a good person to ask. What do you... Cafe of Broken Tree... Okay, yeah, okay. That's gonna be my choice. You're right. 100%. I totally forgot. Cafe of Broken Dreams is also my pick. Because you're right. You have people literally breaking the fourth wall all over the place. NPCs doing it as well. Hey, P.I., thank you for, again for another super chat. You're way too generous, man. I appreciate it. Go have a good night's sleep. 
And I, uh, I hope to see you on the next one. Oh, for fuck's sakes. And we just gained 500 experience from seeing that this is caved in, by the way. If you look at our log. I'm missing all over the place. Gotta get that gun skill up. Oh, there's so many rats over there. tried streaming ah oh, dude XCOM mm. I have not but uh would love to the uh, fucking the one with dude. they released one on 360 I don't know it was really fucking good though I really liked it I forget what it was what like it's full name because I'm pretty sure XCOM's one of those series where all the games have like sub names but uh it was so fucking fun Mario and uh, Rabbids as well this is the bottom level of Vault 15, yes. So late Vault 15. Oh, you might mean early in the sense of like between Fallout and Fallout 2. In that case, yes. <laughs> it is early Vault 15. <laughs> out of ammo. Oh my god. Ian. There we go. There you go, Ian. Yeah, he will burst us to smithereens. So now we really gotta watch out for Ian. <laughs> his dick off. Did anybody test out if they can use the members board, by the way, on the Discord? Because Excel posts in there a lot, but Excel well, has been in there for a while, so I'm just making sure that it, uh, Excel, you don't count right now. <laughs> I need somebody else to check, because you've been in there longer than, uh, like, I'm looking for people who are just now joining to make sure that the, that the rules are working correctly. My favorite, my favorite Fallout character is, uh, Ricky from Fallout New Vegas' DLC Honest Starts. <laughs> it's my favorite follow character.
Um, or like, I like Frank Corrigan a lot. I like Harold a lot. Harold's really good. Um, the Master's super fucking good. The Lieutenant's super fucking good. <coughs> okay, so we'll go back and uh, rescue Tandy. Talk to Eridesh first. Eridesh. Which, by the way, confirmed by Tim Kane. Thank goodness you came. I am in desperate need of assistance. My daughter Tandy is missing. I do not know what to do. Um, one second. I'm going to pull up the Discord real quick, guys. Vault 420. Dude, it's only Excel. Can someone who is a channel member please join the Discord <laughs> and fucking post in this? Because I see that I see vault dwellers that are like on Discord right now, but I just really need to make sure that these permissions are working. Please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Because <laughs> nobody posting in it makes me feel like a. Uh... My people are not skilled in this. Already um, three patrols have gone out to look, but. It makes me feel like return. the permissions aren't working. Will you help me? Seth and I believe one of the Raider clans is responsible. Retribution for And when you tab out, this is what happens with Fallout. Take this spear. It was found where my daughter like was last the rest seen. Of it. Once we get out of dialogue, it'll all be fixed. Please, talk to... Yeah, Mr. Stogies, if you're... I believe you have to be wearing metal armor. But if you wear your metal armor, um, Garl can think you're the ghost of his uh, father, which is fantastic. But uh, I have good speech, so I'm just going to tell him that I represent a threat that he can no longer fucking handle. John Preston with a fucking huge $20 super chat. Jeez Louise. Love your videos. Nice to find someone who was up at Chrissy hours in the morning. Yeah, I slept all fucking day yesterday. I slept all wonky. My sleep schedule's been off. First chat, uh, first super chat in a live stream for you. Thank you very much for choosing me. And uh, I'm happy to have you. Thank you for the kind words too. I'm trying to make more videos. Uh, and hopefully you like them as well. Uh, but thank you very much. All right, so that's it. End of story. Goodbye. Me, Tandy, and Ian will return to Shady Sense. You don't see Vault 420? All right. Do you have the role of, like, being a supporter? Like, do you have the Vault Dweller role, Nikki, in Discord? Because I believe it would require you to, inside your Discord app, link your YouTube... Uh, channel so that it would automatically give you the role because we have it set up for like automation that way where'd Tandy go? hi I was afraid that you were gone and I wasn't going to get a chance to thank you for rescuing me. Oh, that was great! Action! Adventure! Anyway, if there's anything that I can do for you, you just ask. You have to have high luck for Garl to believe you about being the ghost of his father? Dingus, um... I believe you refer I don't remember his name off the top of my head, but uh, the Full Metal Jacket Drill Sergeant is who voiced Sergeant Dornan, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the movie being Full Metal Jacket. Pretty sure you need to link your YouTube to Discord, then it'll give you the role. Yeah, that's what I'm pretty sure uh, as well, Excel. So anybody who is 
Yeah, if you if you choose option two, she gets really offended. If you do this as a woman, she's far less offended, which led to rampant speculation. But she's also like I'm not fifteen. That kind of girl, Mister. <laughs> Go find a Brahma or something. Um, R. Lee Emery is it, yeah something. It is something like that. Yeah. Um. So anyway, if you have become a channel member and you want to utilize all of your benefits. Go into your Discord account. Make sure that your YouTube channel is linked with your Discord account. If you join my Discord, then you will be given the Vault Dweller role or whatever tier you're in and then have access to the members only like boards and stuff. And then we're going to be able to discuss like what kind of benefits should come with the memberships. It is working. Okay, let me look. I know that this is like, a, oh, fuck yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so it does work. It does work. Nimbus can see the messages. That's the joke. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. Sorry to dis to derail us over that, but um, I just wanted to make sure that that stuff was working. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. I will be forever in your debt. Because if you're gonna like courage give me money and wonder. support me, I want to make sure that the benefits that are offered reward. you get. You know what I mean? Like uh, it's Until important to me again, that it works. Friend. So thank you guys for checking it. We. We're all good now. Seems to all be working. Why does certain do my wife hates when characters have accents in uh, the Fallout series? Like she doesn't get it at all. She thinks it's fucking stupid. And I'm like, well, I mean, it could make a list. And she's like, how can it make? She she even said the same thing about Starfield. She was like, she just doesn't think that it would that they would go out that long when humanity's that mixed together or whatever. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They don't bug me as much as they bug her, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to go down to Junktown. Pretty soon we're just going to go get the water chip because I don't like that time limit being in the background. It can really fuck you. Okay. Junktown. This is one of my favorite settlements in the series. First, we're going to take out Doc Morbid, because uh, we find out that he supplies humans for... Uh, I think he's involved with it, but... Uh, yeah, because Doc Morbid sends the body parts down here, but uh, he supplies human bits for Bob's Iguanas. We'll learn about that through here. I'm really glad he didn't burst. Could have been real bad. Wow, oh, Ian. Oh, I didn't aim, or this would have been over. I tell you. There we go. I always like to take the ammo out of the guns because you never know when you're going to use a different gun or whatever, but uh, I don't think this opens. Yeah, it's just organs and body parts. But uh, over here, check for traps on this bad boy. Oh, I fail to find them, do I? Okay, disarm the trap. Unlock the locker. And 837 caps, which is far more than we had before. And a bunch of ammo that we can give to Ian. I don't really care about the doctor's bag. I'm gonna give Ian all this 10 millimeter ammo. I am not using it. I'll keep the, I think these are hollow points. Oh, armor piercing, my mistake. Keep those. Rip Gretch, yep. It's over for Gretch, but that's okay, you know? That's the fucking way the wasteland works sometimes. So, Cougar and Flash will 
end up getting into an epic firefight with us, but uh, I'm really glad he didn't burst. Wrecked. Love the death animations in Fallout. God damn it. Come on, Cougar. Come on, Flash. Let's go, boys. They have shotguns, so... Could have played a little safe, but... Ian is in one hex range of both of them, so... They will get fucked if... It, I'm gonna shoot him in the dick. He will get fucked if uh, Ian bursts them at all, like they're done, so... Yeah. Over. One hexed him. How much damage was that, Ian? 65 hit points. Sometimes that can be up to, like, two, three hundred fucking hit points. Um... Eyes. And then we also get dope new armor from them that we'll put on in just a bit uh, after we recruit dog meat. Okay, so... Give me the armor. One of the things that's lacking in the first Fallout that uh, Fallout 2 has is a take all button. You're also able to scroll through your inventory with the mouse wheel in Fallout 2, something you cannot do in the first game. Um, so those quality of life improvements, I, I, I'm always like, ah. they make they really do make the game experience so much better. Just those two little things alone. Okay, so now, we're going to go meet Killian. Actually, we're just gonna go get dog meat, switch our armor, go talk to Killian, who's played by, by MacGyver. Uh, might be a little before. <laughs> Some of your guys' time, but uh, he was the shit. Yeah, critically hitting the groin for 66 hit points. There's a small chance that when you fire a fat man in Fallout 4, the mini nuke is a dud and won't explode. No, I had no idea. I've never heard that before. That'd be fucking interesting. Loot the doctor. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we will. I didn't even. Fuck it. Damn. <laughs> Alright, so we got dog meat. Yeah, I'll go back and loot the doctor now. Damn, I didn't even fucking think about that. Totally spaced. Mmm. Yeah, I forgot about that, Stogies. Uh, being able to push followers out of the way is critical. <laughs> it's fucking critical to the success of this. Hopefully his body didn't despawn already. Nah. That's so weird that I didn't even fucking... First aid kits are really, in my opinion, just... over... cumbersome for their own worth. I don't, I've never really used them. Okay, so now we will meet Killian. Save him from an assassination attempt. Try to get everybody in here in a safe way. Can I help you? The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. From outside, we've had the occasional to-do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. All right, here he comes. That boy. He's about to get fucked up. This is what he's about to do. Watch this shot, boys. Clack! Ooh, crit. What the fuck? 48. Critically hit in the eyes. Kinji was critically hit in the eyes for 48 hit points. And with no protection there, causing serious pain, Kinji was killed. You gained 400 experience for helping Killian fight the assassin. Thank you kindly. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. 
You interested in helping? You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or plant this wiretap in his office, either way. And we got him. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. We'll do, McGarnacle. Well, uh, howdy. Uh, what can I do for you today? Let's... Well, that's a damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. Uh, we got about Doggo, I'm gonna do need. Thrasher, Skate, Destroy here. for the next Stone Lord, because like I said, I'm gonna do a couple smaller games while I'm working on the, like, Half-Lifes and the Mass Effects and stuff like that, those bigger ones. So, uh, some more PlayStation stuff, some older 360 stuff. Uh, I want to do Dante's Inferno. Uh, everything that was on the original list, mini ninjas, stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure Thrasher is going to be my next one. Um, I've just been busy with everything else. Okay, let's sell all these. Do not need those. Do not need these. Don't need that. So one of those, because I'm not sure if I need that. Not gonna use Mintets. Um, shit, okay, not gonna use this either. Damn, that really affected it. Nice, yeah. I'll take that, like, 30 cap loss. That's not that bad. Less than 30. No, a little more. But that's still, that's fine. So now we have... 3,446 caps. Not bad. Okay, put that gun away. Can't you give me your shit? Dude, the 360's God of War with Dante's Inferno. It's, it's good, man. I've always liked it. You absolved everyone when you play? Uh, yeah, we should, like, uh... We should stream it sometime and like do like an an absolve run or like a fucking damnation run. Ooh, I did that backwards. Jesus Christ. What's the best wild wasteland find in Fallout New Vegas? Just name three. Uh the UFO, the alien, the Zaytans with their fucking alien blaster. Um, oh my god, I just blinked out so hard. Isn't the one that undetonated nuclear bomb, the one, isn't that Wild Wasteland? Because if it is that, and then, um... I'm trying to think of what counts as Wild Wasteland. That's the only issue. Oh, you like Luke's parents and Nipton? That's a good one. Oh, yeah, Seymour. Dude, Seymour's on my list for sure. Yeah, Mr. Red. Yeah, so Seymour. Um, and then the, the other two I mentioned. So this uh, will allow us to help Cynthia out of a fucking hostage situation here. And then we can uh, always sleep here again.
She tells us a little bit about Gizmo. Yada yada yada. Alright. We don't need to sleep again. That just wastes time. Two birds high-fiving. That is a good one, Dingus. Ah, the dog's playing poker, Chris. Yes, in Old War Blues, we just uh, saw that uh, in my uh, playthrough. The Seven dwar Dwarves one, yes, I, uh, that's an obscure one, in my opinion, Mr. Red, from Old World Blues, with the gnomes down there. Uh, top tier. Also top tier is the spinning gizmo sign. Blew my mind in 97, man. 98. Uh, whenever, you know, whatever year it was that I first played this, uh, yeah, that, that shit blew my mind. What do you want? I'm a busy man. I don't know what you're talking about. Such as? And let me guess, you're that someone? Well, how can I trust you? <laughs> All right, we can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with... Uh... Grand Fisto uh, asked, Three Dog or Mr. New Vegas? I'm definitely going to have to go with uh, Mr. New Vegas on this one. <laughs> That's easy. I want him dead because he And it's not because I dislike business. Three Dog. I just really like Mr. New Vegas. So, what are you doing for me? Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No one. All right. That was the voice of Winnie the Pooh and uh, Pete the cat or whatever the fuck he is from uh, Disney. <laughs> Like an OG voice of both, by the way. Uh, best cut content. That's an interesting question. I honestly liked... Uh, it sucks that they had to do it the way they did, but... Um, th when the strip and free set were like open and didn't have all those uh, loading walls in between them... That's what I'm going to... And that and the, the free side quests that were cut... Well, I guess there was a lot of Legion stuff that probably would have fleshed it out, and I think uh, that deserves a mention so, on that list as well. did you get the evidence? Which? Bug or tape? Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Pal, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the yeah, guards from and the run Gizmo movie. and his yes. cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. Now, listen, this town owes you a lot. All right, we'll go talk to handsome Lars and his fabulous jars. Oh, Ian. What a terrible spot for you to have spawned. <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> oh, well, I don't have enough action points for that. There we go. Damn, Ian. Just burst through all of us. Cool. Hit dog meat for the most at 17 hit points. It's better than him aggroing uh, Killian or fucking Lars. Oh, we need to stop him now. Because Ian will 
certainly kill everybody. <laughs> hey, thanks, bud. Um, hmm. Okay. Now we're doing pretty good in our special uh, our specialized skills there, which is nice. To see, we're gonna go back and loot what we just did. Okay. So hopefully. Nope, nobody's despawned yet. Despawned. Fifty caps, hello. Taking that. And then, yeah, he has. I don't know if this is. The, Excel would probably know if he's still in the chat. This Is this the only mouser in the game? Because I know that I'm pretty sure this is the only time we see a box of noodles in the game. Yeah, Sinister, I'm pretty sure it is too. But I could be wrong. Excel knows his shit, so if he was still <laughs> still there, I'd be like, eh. Ooh, gun magazine and a bag. Is there anything in the bag? A hundred caps? Oh my god. It's like Christmas Day. Take the lighter too, fuck it. All right, um... That's the only master in the game, yeah. Well, I mean, it's bad compared to what we have, but it's cool that you can find it, you know? Okay... And I usually don't fucks with the rest of the quests here, honestly. The Skulls quest with the bar. Though, is it Tycho? Is it Tycho? Or is that in two? I think that's in two. Maybe Tycho is in one. Is he at the scum pit? Oh my god. Is it open yet? Yeah, dude, that's totally Tycho. Is there an exit grid here? Oh, there sure the fuck is. Yeah, sandals. Thank you. Okay, so... Like none of our business. Okay. Uh -huh. Welcome to the hub, everybody. Let's.
We'll do some of uh, Decker's missions, probably. Um... I know we're gonna need a rope, so we might as well grab one now. But uh, this, what else do you got? A lot of stems, how much is one stem worth? Okay, so how about like 10? Okay, let's see what happens. Already. armor out of here, did I? Oh, I did. Okay. Um, this. We're getting there. Ooh, too much. Oh, well. Let's uh, make it count. Oh, I didn't even... Yeah. So now... Yeah, I'll take it. Boom. Now we're sitting at like 5k. Beautiful. Oh, we could have bought. Uh, I don't think we need to. Alright, we're good. Get a grenade from Dimitri? I have a grenade. So I don't need to do I have five of them. But I'm going to do Decker's. Uh, shit, I should probably. Okay, we're at a crossroads here. First, we'll do this. We'll, we can get that gun from homie down there. Nice. Okay, so we blackmailed Eagle and Above. We're gonna do this and get an even better gun here. This can actually be pretty intense, so. Time to bring our A game. He's using a shotgun, luckily. But I can hit him right in the fucking eyes from here. But dude, somebody dressed as a Guana Bob uh, last year at New Vegas Day. Sergeant. Uh, more Hugh. Uh, is that one of them? It was, it was, I really liked the costume because, like, I feel like a lot of people in the fan base nowadays wouldn't really think about that. But yeah, somebody should have, like, a food stand. <laughs> Name it that. Yeah, Excel, that's, that's a fair criticism of the implant. Oh, shit. Of the implants in um, Fallout 2. Wow. That was fucking rude. Nice, Ian just fucking wrecked somebody. Dog me just wrecked somebody. I'm just gonna run in here. Let's see what's going down. Yeah, because it looks like he's the last guy. Ooh! Dogmeat critically missed and took three hit points, knocking the combatant to the ground. That's rough. To the dick. 
done. Yeah, we get uh, the 223 two, th two, two, pistol from this uh, quest, which is essentially that gun. I didn't know essentially about it. Because that gun takes 5.56 anyway, I guess the... We're sitting on 50 fucking stimmies. Anybody in here? Oh, what the fuck is that? Metal armor? Maximum capacity too, so get to sell some more shit when we get back to the hub. No, won't you let me take that? He has a dope gun too, the fucking 14 millimeter. Golly. So we're walking out of here with some caps, a ton of loot. There's a shovel up here, I'm trying to think. If, oh, you can't even pick it up, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Stone Delore, that's right, a Slagle. It's, there's more coming. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I've just been busy. I guess this is kind of like a live Stone Delore, isn't it? Oh, shit. Shit. Do we not get the gun? Because... Okay, there it is. That gun, baby. This is beautiful. Alright, uh... Let's see here what it says. On how I should be using these. Uh, range is 40 on this one. 30 on the other one. Okay, but... Does 10... Ten more damage than homie. Alright. Uh, let's start selling some shit here. Sure. Oh yeah, she has a ton of cabs. Okay, so... I think I'll need the dynamite. Don't need that. Don't need this. Give me all of your caps. The metal armor needs to be sold. I should really maybe save that for Jacob. No, this is alright. See, so yeah, I can just keep adding the ammo that I'm using. So close. I don't even care about that dis discrepancy like that much. Like, it's fine. But it's about to not matter anyway. I'm just about to fucking get the sniper rifle. Oh shit, I didn't even think about wearing the metal armor. That would have been an idea, huh? But I feel like I'm about to get, like, combat armor. Because I'm buying the sniper rifle. Even though you could get one for free. One second, one second, this is, this is done. Hold up, hold up, come on guys, get the, f get the fuck out of there.
One thing we should do is just go get the water chip real quick. So I don't give a fuck about Necropolis. Um, fuck, let's do that. Alright, hold up. Okay. Hey, Ian, yeah, that's right, old school. I'd want to secure Tron as a companion. There, Mr. Red. Yeah, fuck them ghouls. I agree. Sinister, who cares, you know? Well, they just end up getting destroyed by those fucking mutants anyway, and I realize that, like, you can, like, stop that or whatever, but... I don't give a fuck. Not today. Oh, that gun in action. Beautiful. We did it, boys. It's fucking around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, I'm not gonna waste my time on reds. I mean, the boys can. No, fuck it. I mean. This is my uh, favorite. This and Cons of New California are my two favorite songs in uh, the classic games. Top tier. Look at this rat thinking he's not about to get fucked up. Wow, Ian over a rat? <sighs> I think it's called, yeah, Acolytes of a New God. Yeah, I fucking love it, man. I fucking love it so much. Okay, so, welcome to Necropolis. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be... Uh, Carlsbad, right? Or is it... It starts with a B. It's totally blanking in my fucking not not Burbank, but the other one. Is it Burbank? Yeah, Ian, I agree. Mark Morgan, top tier. Homie will talk to us. I'll try to fix it. I just forget where to go to fix it. Is all like where to go to get the part. I always I I never really do it. So I always I know you have to. Okay, we'll see. Cause you get the, you get the uh, the part for the pump, which is past like we, we can handle the dungeon that you have to go through. It's just big rats and shit. Um, but I always forget. Is it down here? We'll find it. Fuck it. We'll just save them. This is not it. Okay, let's deal with this.
Oh man, this is setting us all up to get super, bur super bursted by fucking Ian. There was a plasma pistol in there? Well, my energy weapons and shit. So, Bakersfield, thank you. Thank you. Fuck. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. I feel like Carlsbad's close to Bakersfield, too, so maybe I'm not just fucking out too far out in left field. Oh, why did I do that? Of course, of course. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nothing. I don't even know if there's items in here. Because unlike Fallout 2, I can't just have them all be high. Oh, this must be the plasma pistol that was referred to. Alright. Yeah. Netches. You know, we, we like to live dangerously, bro. Let's, uh... Okay, there's set. Okay, I think we need to go down a different... Like, perhaps... Oh, the mutants are already here? Maybe they're always right here, and they, they haven't just... They just haven't killed... Any ghouls. I think I'm on the right path here. Please inform me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe I am wrong. Hey, Electric Piano, thank you for uh, so much for the support, man. Like, for real. And for stopping by the stream. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah, there's a super mutant up there. Oh, man, Schmeckel. Uh, uh Yeah, uh, Fallout 2 is important to me as well. And uh, it's one of the first ones I played, and it made me fall in love with the series and appreciate the first game even more. And so I'm right there with you. And. Uh, I, uh, I think that's awesome, man. And thank you for stopping by the stream. guys. I might not be in the area that I wanted to be in. There's junk here. I don't think that is what I'm looking for either. I think it does call, it at least has the decency to call itself like fucking parts or something. But uh... I'm 
jump a little far ahead here so I don't get shot by Ian. Bursting randomly into a crowd of cave rats. The junk is the quest? Really? Is it? That's all I needed to grab? It's weird because I like kind of thought it might be, but... Okay, then uh, let's see here. I don't like the Sentinel Companion creation clubs. I didn't like that one. Okay, let's hope. Hey, you not look like ghoul. How come? Ooh, that was snazzy like, huh? Blue, tell me watch place. Not let no one in. Not normals most. Take normals to the loo. Hey. Ooh, hairy confused. You not ghoul. You not normal. Mm, what you? Oh, okay. Harry, think what to do. You <laughs> robot. Have a good one, brother. Now, somebody said the junk is the quest, so. Whoops. Whoops. God damn it. You were having difficulties making these parts. Oh, it's because my repair is not good enough? I'm guessing. Everything's on a fucking chance meter with this game, though. Boom. See? Okay. Um. Bonus range damage. BRD, baby. Mm mm mm. Love it. Okay, so let's go talk to Homie again. Oh, we can let. Other homie out of jail, too. <laughs> Please let me go. We did our good deed of the day. I think it was over here. I know a really good way. Okay, hold up. This is a really good way. Lizard King, of course you can be my homie. What the fuck? Hey, Ian, no problem. Thank you for tuning into the Fallout stream at 8 a.m. For me, it is uh, about almost 5.30. Oh, shit. I just did the exact fucking same thing. I love... This is like evening lighting for Fallout. What time is it? 18.24 uh, is the time. But, um... This evening lighting, it always... Mm. Okay. So, thank you for the live reacts. Uh, we'll go back to Homeboy and tell him that we've fixed anything. Because I think if you go down to the vault before you tell Sewer Man down here that you've done what you could. I wonder, uh, does Set get pissed off if you... Um, have fixed everything and also Jedi Matthew have a good one brother okay what oh I didn't take anything yet. fuck okay alright we're going back to where we came
All right. Hopefully, uh, I hope Harry doesn't fucking. And there's another. Um. Like manhole. In this room? And I forget where it takes us. Isn't there? Maybe I'm just confusing this with uh, how to get to the vault. Maybe. Yep, I must be. So now the glowing ones shouldn't be hostile that are down here. these guys. Oh, it does say you tread without permission. That's interesting. Huh. I thought they weren't hostile if you did this the right way. So I do have permission. You dick. Maybe I didn't talk to Set, and maybe that's what it is. In the Think Tank, my favorite scientist is, uh, I think Boris would probably be my favorite. Yeah, man. We'll see what happens with the show. I'm consciously optimistic. I'm excited to see someone's take on it. And I'm excited for Fallout to, you know, have more exposure on the mainstream for sure. It's a great series and I love seeing it do so well. But I'm a little bit worried since Todd has said, like, the whole show's canon. Like, makes me a little bit worried for, like, what the show's gonna do, but we'll see. They did start at Sinister, it's true. It is true. Oh, there was more lootable shit right there. Now these guys will be pissed? It's just weird, because I feel like I did this right. Or maybe just those two are always hostile at the beginning? I don't know. Their bodies are already gone. Oh, maybe they're just hidden right here. Okay. <laughs> See what the fuck happened there. And is there an exit up here? Dude, it's fucking. Come on. <laughs> Did go all the way across the map? I mean, come on. This seems harder than the FPS ones. I grew up on it, so it's not so hard for me. Um, but if you take the time and like learn it, you know, like, like it, there might be like a little bit of a learning curve if you're not used to these types of games. But it's it's less intimidating than it seems, or like it's it's you know what I mean. Like it's it's more intimidating than it it should be. Like. I think. But I think a lot of people these days get thrown off by, like, the UI and, like, the way everything looks because, you know, video games look so much crazier nowadays, but, uh, it's so worth everybody's time. Like, the first, the first two Fallout games are so good. And if you take, like, an hour, I'm sure there's people, I'm sure there's tons of tutorials online of, like, builds to use and uh, there's guides that you that you can look through and like even cheat devices you can use to make your character look like, pretty much unkillable so that you can just go through the game and like check it out like it's worth it 
for sure. This is Fallout 1, yes. back up to Vault 13 to turn in the water chip so that time limit kind of fucks off. Even more rad scorps, oh my god. Wow. Damn you, Ian. <laughs> He did kill them though, so GG. Oh, come on now. Okay. Fallout Online, oh my god, yeah. That would be... It's been a while. I'm probably gonna... I've been planning on kind of revisiting it for a uh, video essay. Like, revis revisiting, like, the main servers again. Um, streaming it can get a bit wonky. Like, the servers are filled with the edgiest of edgelords. <laughs> and when they know they're on stream, they, they love to push that around. I can tell you that much. you found the chip? Okie dokie, one moment, the chip is initializing. Here, there, 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 there it goes. Self-test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You've saved us. You've done it. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get it from you in the library. Please, go there now. All right. Hmm, I kind of want to boost something that, you know, like we don't have already, like maybe repairing. I'm trying to think of what we use later on. We'll repair and science. You know what? I'm going to do something smart here. Oh, we went up like two levels. Smart here, and get this really high up, because uh, Mariposa and its force fields. I'm wondering if I should. Let's do that. And that. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm done. Okay. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well... I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. <sighs> the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe in... I don't really understand it, but it looks like someone's generating new mutants, and at a startling rate. Exactly. 
And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Once more, into the breach, my friend. Love it. You have no idea how sorry I am to Why send you back thing out. My problem. That's right, Comet. That's a good point. Well, it if you go and take the bad ending, <laughs> you can see pretty quickly how it becomes everybody's problem pretty fast. The brutality <laughs> the mutant showed of Fault 13 is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. So now we're going to head over to the Brotherhood and I'll wait. We're going to do, okay, this is so backwards what I'm doing here. We're going to go back down to the hub and do Decker's missions because when we take out Jane, we can go into a room that has uh, all the rad meds that we're going to need for that situation. And some other things that we'll like. But I wanted to get the water chip out of the way so that we're not constantly like worried about the vault running out of water. Which is pretty much the only time limit. Now I don't, I mean like there's a, eventually the game does stop at like years and years, years later. But like uh, I do not believe that there's a time limit on uh, taking care of Mariposa and the Master, so. We should be alright with that. Have I really tried to run out of time? Uh, yeah, I did a video with Fallout 2 where I went 13 years and then that's what ends Fallout 2. And it gives you an actual end screen. It's like a the end screen. It's fucking wild. I, and it's pretty much impossible to hit like in an, any actual real playthrough. I had to like cheat to get the, you know, time that far out. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do Decker's stuff real quick. I, oh fuck, you know? We'll just get the red meds here. I thought he had red X too. Ah, uh, fuck it. Alright, alright, fuck it. Fuck it. So, you're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, but where are my manners? What's your name? Well, the pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? Background. There's a certain merchant who's... How to phrase this? Not cooperating fully with the underground. Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife, and exterminate them. It's standard pay. 500 caps to start. Another 2,500 when the job is done. Very nice. The merchant lives in the Heights Easy on peasy. Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Yeah, it might be Keith, David. Your initial pay will be handed to you on your way out. Here, one second. Let's look. I like how two people asked the exact same question. <laughs> um, Decker. Oops. I mean, somebody's probably, yeah. Yeah, somebody's, I was going to say, somebody's going to confirm that before I even finish looking it up, so, yeah.
Our posse should be able to fucking handle the high water district. Is high water, high tower. This district, fucking just fine. Um, typically, I come in here with fucking combat armor and a sniper rifle, but I feel like we're gonna be okay. I'm trying to think of like My name Death Ah, damn it. Uh huh. Okay, he's fucked now. Let's do it like that. Done. Oh, my boys are all outside the... Oh, no, just dog meat. Okay, perfect. Okay. This is not going so bad. Ian just destroyed George. 170 hit points with no armor knocking the combatant to the ground. George was killed. Okay, is that Tycho? Okay. Guess he's not high tower anymore. That's right, comment. You need combat armor with the letter E on it. That's what I'm saying. For Enclave. Alright. Uh, have a good one, Nikki. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you get free combat armor from the BOS. Yeah, uh, and or a sniper rifle, I'm pretty sure. Which is... What I want in life. Oh, Tycho. Nice. Perfect. Okay. I feel like I should have gotten a perk by now. Again, it's going to be really important. I'm pretty sure it's repair. God, I hope it's not science. On the force fields for Mariposa. that to Ian and take the fucking burst away from him, but I guess that's just as deadly, so... I guess the chest is in this room. Shit. My mistake. Sorry, dog. Come on. Whoops. Oh 
Okay. Um, did I lose him? Don't care. I guess Ian had that. Don't care. Alright. Whatever. Oh, there's still one left. According to Google, it's both, but I use repair. Yeah, I, I've always used repair too, I'm pretty sure. So thank you for checking that. Um, Real Racer, good to see you. What's a fallout? Well, you're looking at it. Come back and like uh, fight Decker once we have all of our gear because that fight's actually pretty fucking rough. And we just made a ton of caps. They call them scrub bugs, but they just incorporate them into caps. So. Now, this is the job we were waiting for so we can get that radiation. Good medicine. day again, my friend. I have another job for you. Are you interested? Excellent. You see, the last job I gave you was a test, and you did exceedingly well. It now war comes a bird job of importance. Goose. Hopefully I'm saying the middle part correctly there for a bird. But anyway, you should come back and play them again. As you may know, the children of the cathedral have been gaining influence in this town. And frankly, I won't stand for it. A small matter. Kill the high priestess Jane. Once she's gone, this little nuisance will be ended. Interested? I believe I'm beginning to like you. The pay Tonic is 1,000 up front too. and 4,000 upon completion. And trust me, I'll know when it's done. Jane's a dick anyway. Talk to Kane on your way out. He'll provide you with details. Yeah. How many caps do we have right now? Like, before we even complete this? 11k? We are doing good. Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? Have you studied the sacraments, child? Perhaps one of our priests will discuss your needed education. That sounds a lot like, uh... Leave now. Tress McNeil, doesn't it? The voice of Mom from Futurama. Oh, shit. Blasted Taika. Oh, and Ian will burst right through me. Oh, thank God. Oh, he's out of ammo for it. Good thing we've got a little bit for him. I'm gonna give him that fucking 14 mil, too. Ian, you got an automatic laser rifle in 76 that let it cut through a mountain. Yeah, uh, I'm starting a new character on 76 soon and uh, gonna go through it. 
just to kind of really give it a, another good shot through. And I'm looking forward to the experience. There we go. There we go. Oh, did we? Give me another one. All right. Looking good. Loser than the zombies. He must be talking about the ghouls. Wow. These guys are tough. Like, what's up with that? There we go. Ooh, dog is just going rogue. room over here is the whole reason I did all this shit before we went to the Brotherhood. <laughs> Dope-ass purple robes, which I've always, always really liked in the Fallout series. Drugs that we can sell. It's a Geiger counter. Okay, so also... Mm, Probably pull out that 14 mil now. All right. Uh, not now. Okay, so now we're gonna go do the Brotherhood stuff. We also have 15k, which is pretty gosh darn good. Why is this more interesting than Starfield? Hey, now that's not fair. Fallout and Fallout 2 are more interesting than most games, alright? So, while I see what you're getting at about Starfield, even though I'm a fan of Starfield, I would argue that that applies to a lot of games <laughs> when it comes to Fallout and Fallout 2. So, it's just my own personal bias, of course. Uh, but, uh, the Brotherhood headquarters are up here somewhere. Lost Hills. Oh my goodness. Fuck off. 
Yeah, he's using that 14 millimeter now. And he has a couple of other options if when he runs out of ammo. So, uh... We won't have to worry about him bursting so much. I love the way Vats works in Fallout and Fallout 2. In the classic Fallout games. Yeah, I, uh... There, there are very substantiated rumors backed up by apparent leaks that show that there was an Oblivion remaster and a Fallout 3 remaster on the horizon, and I personally would uh, be super stoked on that comment. Uh, comment is the person in the chat that I'm, you know, answering. That's right, Sean. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. Oh, wait. Well, no, 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 no. So, yeah, we're heading up to Lost Hills here. The first Brotherhood outpost that we come into contact with in the series. There's great debates and theories on what that city is supposed to be. Because it's like a large section. Okay. Talk to Cabot here. Hello, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? That's great! Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He, uh, said you have to complete a quest first. You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order, that's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. You'll do it? You will? Great! Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. Oh yeah, and then homeboy oh Tim Kane told me that uh, the reason they have this guy pipe up is because they didn't have a lot of time to record this guy's voice. Something had happened. I don't, I don't exactly recall if there it was a time restraint. I think we talked about it directly on the video that I put up of us talking, but like. Uh, since they didn't, they didn't get everything they needed or wanted from uh, the voice actor for Cabot, they have this guy fill in the blanks for you. Though I like this uh, dynamic of like, he's like, yeah, you know, go do this and it's going to be great. And then there's this other guy like, Push, you know, like, Sh and gives you the real truth. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Kevin has the energy of a passive aggressive dad from the suburbs. Yeah. Um not wrong, Sean. You're not wrong. Well, Bayside the first, I'm not sure who Fati Vidya is. I I haven't seen that channel. So I don't know if it's weird that you put us on the same level. But Judging by the way you're asking the question, it must be a little weird that you're putting us on the same level. But respect. I have played a little bit of Baldur's Gate 3. My cousin's fucking smashing it right now. I need... I should have jumped in with him on it and played more of it, but... Uh, it's on it's on my to-do list to play more of that soon, for sure. Okay, so you see weeds. You see raider. You see raider. Okay. Blood is stronger than yours. 
All right, buddy. Let's see what they got. Don't care. Take the caps. Take the caps and the ammo. Take the caps. Take the ammo. All right. Further towards the glow we go, ye mateys. Ah, shit. Oh, dead ghoul with some 10 millimeter, huh? That's interesting. The bones of some long dead traveler. All right. Okay. Ooh, this is a special encounter then. Oh, we got the dinosaur footprint. With the motion sensor. Oh, Stealth Boy, rather. Um, I actually recently talked about this in the Fallout Iceberg. But uh, a lot of people think that this is like a remnant of the very first few plot ideas for the Fallout game, which involved time travel and dinosaurs and stuff like that. And it very well could be. I like to think about it like uh, them putting a, the, like some kind of warning in the game, like, oh, you know, you don't want to find out what made this footprint, you know, like, you may see something big and something scary out in the wasteland, but there's always something bigger, you know, um, but, you know, it's up to, it's open to interpretation, but it's a really cool, I love seeing unique things in this uh, trimetric universe that they've built so when you see that you know that kind of pattern it's it's fucking awesome so let's go and we're gonna stop like right there to fucking get our rad meds in before we hit the glow. And I know I bought a rope from the hub. Okay, good. So I better not be down here without one of those. So this place is very irradiated. That is how you say that. Could be one of those like grammatically <laughs> different situations but uh regardless there's a lot of radiation here because it was directly hit with a with a nuke uh it's a west tech facility a lot of uh crazy lore behind it and it's also one big doom reference which is fun but uh right now if you see there's a power armored soldier there that's a Brotherhood soldier. We're gonna get a hollow tape off of him, which is what the Brotherhood wants. Let's save because there is a trap up here. I tried. Dude, that really hit Ian. Shit. Yeah, there's the yellow key, which uh, furthers the Doom reference. Turn the lights out. Who cares? We're getting the fuck out of here. I won't be going much further into the glow during this playthrough because I don't really fucking care. What are my feels about the Brotherhood? Uh, fine, really. Uh, they're a staple of the Fallout series, and because of that, you know, I love and appreciate them. But uh, I think there's. I, I feel like they should have stayed on the West Coast. I feel like seeing them much further than... Like, a lot of people bring up, like, uh, tactics with, like, you know, Chicago's Brotherhood and stuff, you know, that whole area, Texas with Brotherhood of Steel. Um, those aren't necessarily considered very canon by Bethesda and thus aren't moving forward, but um, it doesn't mean I dislike them. It's just... Uh, I, like to, I would like to see more, like, concrete... 
localized factions that hold different parts of the United States as opposed to like one, you know, enclave or brotherhood or just everywhere in the United States. Like, I, it's just, yeah. It would have been nice to see like different, you know, different factions with different goals and priorities and aesthetics and stuff like that. Uh, you know, kind of evolving uh, with that. But uh, when you look at, like, why, you know, like, it makes sense on why Bethesda would be like, oh, we're putting the Brotherhood and the Enclave in it. Because those are staples of the Fallout series, and they want Fallout fans to uh, fucking identify with that game and want to play it and want to remember those factions and characters and stories. So it makes sense, like, but it's just... I personally would have liked to have only heard about the Brotherhood and the Enclave in, uh... Fallout 3, and then uh, when we did get New Vegas, we, we could have seen all that other stuff, you know what I mean, that was already on the west side, so we had been hearing about it in Fallout 3, like, rumors had gotten that far east, but anyway, that's just my own little take on it. We were almost there. Fucking scorpions again, boys. The brain. Why should the community get hyped over this London mod? To me, it's one of the first, it's like the first mod I've ever seen that is taking the idea of Fallout and adapting it to a different thing uh, in, in, a, in, in, in a correct way, in my opinion. They're taking retro futurism from their culture of, you know, the UK and, and uh, London itself specifically. And they're, and they're making that uh, fit into the Fallout world with their version of what if the people in the 1950s envisioned the world of 2077 and it got nuked, what would that look like? And, the, and then they've added all this, uh, dude, it, and also, from what I understand, it's like a full game's worth of a mod uh, with uh, a game map the size of Fallout 4, so that's why I feel like people should be hyped for it. They've been working on it for years and... Bethesda has been hiring people that's been working on that mod for like two or three years now. Like just taking them off the mod and be like, hey, you're coming to work for us. So that has to be a good sign as well. So I think it's, I think, uh, I think that is actually when you should, you know, people will, shouldn't hey, be afraid to be excited back. for. Did you get something? They've been getting, uh, like they have their own music that they've composed, uh, obviously voice actors, uh, like all that kind of stuff. They've delayed it because Bethesda, seemingly kind of wanted them to launch this mod at the same time the show was getting launched so bethesda has faith in it as well um and so they're going to play off of each other with that i think you're going to see a huge resurgence of people playing fallout 4 on pc um when fallout london comes out great but um the high elder said you have to give it to me before i can let you in sorry this is great hang on while i open the door We are now an initiate of the Brotherhood of Steel. We can come in here and watch this training shit too. And I think you actually gain the skill if you are in here during this sequence. Of course, I could be wrong. But, we'll see. I love the little animations. I, like, I love 
one of my favorite types of photography as well is uh, tilt shift photo uh, photography. It's uh, where the, the camera's positioned in such a way and there's soft focus on the edges of the picture enough to make everything almost look like miniatures, like toys. Even even though like you're taking a picture of you know Seattle or something from above, you make it look like a, a toy set. Um, I think my love of tilt shift came from loving like these games so much because these games aren't truly isometric. Uh, a lot of people argue you know the trimetric, um, but to me it reminds me a lot of tilt shift photography where everything looks miniature and uh, it's just now I like I grew up with a love of miniatures and I think it comes from just playing these games religiously all the time when I was a kid. Hey Gonzalo, good to see you. Oh yeah, look, I gained one skill in all kinds of show over and over again. Yeah, it's really cool. See, like we're sitting here watching the Brotherhood give demonstrations on uh unarmed and melee weapons and we're learning at the same time you know and where you're seeing that that's down here in the log with unarmed combat anyway we're going to uh all right cool perfect Is he just offering ammo? Okay, we don't need to do that. For some reason, I thought he would give us a uh, get. A, we could get a sniper rifle from here, but I guess not. I have not saved the person from the hub, but I think that's how you get power armor. Well, I haven't been able to get power armor from it from a very long time. Uh, but I used to, every time I would play through, I'd go through all that, and then I'd get the power armor as a reward. But it's like... You get, what, the sniper rifle? Oh, that's right, you do. Okay. Sandals, thank you. I'll talk to Vri real quick. Greetings. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. Yes, I guess you could say I know stuff. What can I help you with? Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, if we can hold out, everything will be okay. All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce successfully. And this is the holodisc that we showed the master. And he thinks he's gonna fucking take over the world. Okay. Now we'll go to, uh, we'll go talk to Maxon. First, Maxon, for anybody who hasn't played the first Fallout here and is familiar with Fallout 3 and 4 and the Maxon bloodline, this is, uh, the one who started it all down here. And we're about to go see. He's just a color swapped version of he's a white Aradesh. It's fucking hilarious. But you know, they're making these out of clay heads, so you only have so many resources, you know. Someone's bound to look the same. Uh, hello, youngster. Cabot said you wanted to talk. Look, I'm uh, I'm pretty stacked up right now, so I'll uh, I'll help you out as long as you don't start flapping your gums too much. You know outsiders are like that, always jawing. <laughs> Kinda like me, huh? Sure. 
Look, I don't have time for a story that long right now. Here, all of us grew up on this. Sure. Well, you see, there's four of them. And that's about all they can ever agree on. They can't even agree if they want to piss. Much less pick No, I do not have in. one of the clay heads uh, Bayside, but uh, I told Tim Kane that I'd pay a high fucking price for them if he ever uh, found out where they were. Rumors about where they are are wild. Anywhere from in someone's garage or storage unit put away somewhere to hidden inside of somebody's office on purpose. You know, like there's a lot of rumors of where they could be, but uh, I told Tim Kane directly to his face in person that if he ever found one, that there's very few prices that would be too high. Let's put it that way. I'd buy sure. them at a high price. No, oh, just another stupid rumor. Some people say it's a huge fanged monster, and others say it's a vampire. Shoot. Okay. Our main goal is to survive. Then get out. Right, I got work to do. Okay, how do I get... Come on, Max. What the jump. hell do you shoot? Then get up. Oh, whatever. I have enough money to buy the sniper rifle. Like, what else am I going to spend the fucking caps on? Yeah, except the quest we're looking for the North Base. I went through all of his dialogue options, though. What the hell do you want now? Yeah, fire away. There's no... Then get up. Options for it. Does somebody else give it to you? And somebody else must give it to you. I don't care too much. It's not a big deal. We're gonna go down and just fucking buy the sniper rifle and rescue that uh, Brotherhood guy. And hopefully I get power armor from it. Yeah, canonically, Ian and Dogmeat do die in the, in the base. That is true. That is true. Yeah, it wasn't under the first option sandals. I went through it. It's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, we're gonna go back to the hub. Like, uh, like I said, what else am I going to spend the caps on? Like, nothing. There's literally nothing else, so might as well just fucking buy the sniper rifle. Oh, that's weird that I brought up the Brotherhood one. Um, yes. And we still need to do the caravan quest, too. Um... Pass it? Am I that fucking blind? Jeez Louise. Let's see if there's anything else I want. I saw some stimmies, which I like to collect as well. Okay. Let's put forth a little bit of uh Keep in the robe. Hey, that'll do. Okay. See, I didn't even have to use any of the caps. And this fight to save this Brotherhood guy is actually kind of wild. So. I can't rest in Old Town? What the fuck? Okay.
That's the end of that gun for this run, probably. Served us well. Alright, let's fucking go. Can I get him through the window? Yes. Fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? That's fucked. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, Ian. Kick the shit out of that guy. That's one of the easiest times I've had with that. Oops. That's usually a pretty rough fight. I don't think he has a combat shotgun. Does he? Oh, you can have a grenade too. Fuck it. So we've done rescued the Brotherhood man. <laughs> then uh, we have no option. Oh, I guess we could just say you're welcome by, but if we ask him about it. We can have that happen. Now I'm going to see if by doing it in this sequence that I've done it this time. First off, exit grid? No. Um, if it gives me the reward. Hey, Ian, I was already initiate. Nice try. I was initiate when I did uh, the glow. So they should make me like a super initiate or something. But, uh, I'm hoping doing it in this sequence gets me that set of power armor as a reward. So I, I guess I have a pretty good repair, though. So we might be able to repair the suit that's up. Hey, Mr. Red, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by and uh, chatting, man. All the support that uh, that you threw at me as well. I appreciate you. Hey, Pat the Wonder Insult. Hey, 
Oh, we know where all those are. Thanks, bye. See you later, buddy. Patrick the Celt. The Celt. However you say it. Fucking did it, boys. Oh, nice, Adam. Well, uh, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so, mm mm mm. PA was, uh, uh, power armor, PA, Brighton, was, uh, you know, sim it was simpler times. Okay. Actually. An attribute I admire. Kane will give you your payment. I hope you're available in the future. Under the circumstances, yeah. the merchant market is in the center of town, surrounded by a number of establishments. You have the heights to the west and the old town to the east. You're in the Maltese Falcon. There's also the all-in-one store. The armory, the friendly lending company, the police, and unfortunately, the children of the Cathedral Hospital. They... encroach. I completely understand. Let's leave it at that. Under the circumstances, yes. Someone appears to be stealing whole caravans from the Fargo traders, and the thieves' circle is causing their normal minor difficulties. Okay, so now what we do... my friends is we come over to the police and rat on Decker just completely fucking rat him out Decker tried to hire me to kill somebody let's go I'm ready this is a hard fight but with our gear the way it is right now, and this not being the disc version from uh, somebody who's talking about it in chat, where if Decker missed, apparently uh, it would crash the game, which holy shit, he just missed right there, we would have had a crash. No more Decker. Cane. 
Ooh, we. Okay, Ian killed Kane. Oh, they're surrendering. I heard the level up noise, but, uh... Straight to fire it is. Oh, that might have been a waste. We killed 110 rats this run. Doing good. But then we became one ourselves. That's the way the fucking world works, boys. Um, gonna get this up even higher. You know what? Are you using a power fist? Oh, he's talking to Brighton. Okay, so now. What do you want? Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. Little Rutger over here. <laughs> <sighs> Don't spoil it. Make him quick. Uh, Rutger will handle that. Uh, he does all the trivial stuff for the Fargo traders. Now get on out, because I got work to do. Just one. Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Well, there's, uh... <clears throat> Something, but I never listen to those rumors. You, uh, you really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the Death Claw, but, but I don't know nothing about that. How do you go talk to Beth? She knows more about that crap. Done and done. Now get on out of here, but Fucking come back Death and Claw. talk to me when you found something. And that means that we're very close to our first interaction with Harold. Which is always an absolute delight. Backseat. <laughs> Backseat gorillas. My understanding of Fallout 1, water chips in my vault? It's less likely than you think. Yeah, that's, uh, you've literally described the plot, the, the, the whole plot. You did it. Uh... I just want to see if she has any more caparinos. Might as well take the bag. I'm not using it. Won't use this. Take the Nuka Cola. Take that. You can't have my robes. And this is too rich for her blood. Alright, 928 it is. I'll take every last one of them. Do you got stems? No. Alright. We do need to offload this fucking armor, though. Um, so we ask her about the Death Claw. And she tells us uh, Harold fucking knows about it. I'm hoping Jacob has a bunch of gaps here. Okay, he kinda he kinda does. Oh my god, not enough though. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. One second. Alright. We did it, boys. And on to talk to Harold. You want a Gorza? There is a couple Gorza mods out there. I remember there was one for New Vegas. Um, I don't know if I've seen one for Fallout 4. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. <laughs> Rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Long time. Who? Is he some sort of sex therapist? I could use one, you know. All started with the sirens. I was young, but oh, I do remember There you go, Sandals. <laughs> A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. You know, <laughs> I'm not real sure anymore. West, I think. Oh, wait, uh, East? Oh, I don't know what. <laughs> well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. <laughs> uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutant son of a dog if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <laughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Everywhere. Hell, seemed like you couldn't fart without hitting one. But mostly in the Northwest. We mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded, sent him back to the surface. Then it was just me and Gray. We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and... Well, I passed out. Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. All I know is it was something inside that base. How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Yes, you all are right. Oh, this is hey, story it's time. you again. Anything I can do for you? And now we'll listen to his take on the Death Claw. Ooh, that thing. Friend, that is Nightmare City. Why the hell are you asking about that? Okay. Well, 
It's like a damn big man is what it is. Got spikes and claws that can cut through the heaviest armor. But don't let the size fool you. It's quick. Well, from what I've heard, maybe whack it in the head. I'd try the eyes. Of course, there's a problem there. I can't look at them. It is said the Death Claw can hypnotize just by looking. Then it walks up and boom, you're it. Good luck to you. You're gonna need it. Now we're gonna smoke that thing. Talk to my boy out here. And he'll take us to the Death Claw. Cute. Now it's closing the gap too much. Seventy five, not bad. Hundred and five, definitely not bad. Nice, over, done. This is where we find out that the mutants are the ones behind the caravans going missing. With that holotape. And holotapes are stored for people who haven't played this. Go to the status. So that uh, ancient brotherhood tape we found at the glow. This is what's written on it. And then, um, Vree's tape about the mutants being sterile. And then, the one we just picked up, the mutant transmissions, shows us that uh, the mutants have been fucking with the caravans. So that's where those are stored. But if you use them, you gain knowledge of them, get 100 uh, experience when you use them. Did you play Fallout 1 and 2 with Fallout 2 features in it? Name Fallout 1 unofficial patch. Um, the one that I remember, Sim, is um, Fallout uh, Fixed. F I X T. Uh, F-I-X-T Fixed uh, is a mod that adds a lot of quality of life stuff to the first Fallout and that may be what uh, you were thinking of oh shit I don't think we can go over here but um that's, that's, that's what I've used in the past why the fuck all over the place Well, what do you got for me? What, do I look a crate shy of a load? Did you even see the death claw? You... You killed it? Well... I, uh... Um... Uh, where did these mutants come from? An outpost? Well... Um... Well, uh... I'll have to talk to the committee. Yeah, yeah, they'll know what to do. Uh, done and done. G get out, cause uh, I got stuff to do. Done. And there we go. Okay, so now... We'll probably just, uh... Take care of this shit.
Okay. So what we're going to do then is head to Mariposa and take care of that shit. And then take care of the master. Z 110 XP, boys. <laughs> okay. Scorpion. <laughs> GG, easy scorp. That's right, debt squirrel. You're a hundred percent correct. we didn't get any encounters there. Huh. Oh, this is a... Yes, you do have a way with words, don't you? And words are what we want. Before. Why, when you become one of us, of course. I can't have a perfectly good prime normal and not make it one of the chosen ones, now can I? After you tell me where your vault is, we shall see, won't we? Yes. It is not. It's where the boys become men when it comes to companions. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, I swear it's 3-1... I swear it's this one. But I want to be careful. Nice. Thought so. But uh, I was trying to get the check to get it fucking displayed on the screen. Yeah, the lieutenant's great, Brady. This uh, chick gets mad when we take this mutant out. Which is a dynamic that I like a lot, that the mutants end up having human sympathizers. <laughs> well, she might have known him before he was dipped in the bath, too, so was that. Was that. Rip flip. 
a little flower in his inventory? Okay. Yeah, right. Beautiful. Wow, she was coming after us? Damn, son. Okay. All these assholes are gonna make this splendid. Yeah, I was gonna say there's traps nearby too. Damn, son. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh shit, I think my game just crashed. Oh, that almost never happens with these. Alright, one second, fellas. Okay, I have to get the screen back to its right size here. I think I quick save a lot, so we should be alright. What the fuck happened here? Oh, the base must be on alert now. Okay. I get it. crashed again oh shit it like doesn't want me healing right there is that what it is that's wild man um I'm very sorry for the delay here Okay, um, I guess, shit. Like, should I be trapping right now? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna save here. Oh, the force field's back up for them. I wonder if that's part of the problem. Oh damn, that almost killed me. I'm afraid to use stim packs though. Because it was crashing it. Oh, I'm so glad he missed. We're definitely on a time limit to get out of here too. Okay, Tycho, let's try to get you out of there, man. Okay, cool. So now they've been saved. Two damage to repair. 
Six. This might kill me. It didn't. But it might kill Dogmeat. Or Ian. Or Tycho. Oh, Ian! Ah, uh, crashed my game again. Oh my god. Why is it being so unstable here? I've never had this many crashes. What is the deal? Okay. Oh my god, Ian dying is... okay. Ian dying, is like, just him dying is doing it. Jesus Christ. I, guys, I'm so sorry <laughs> this is happening. But I refuse to... give in. <laughs> Not on my watch. Let's just tell Ian to wait. You can leave now. Holy shit. Oh, I'm about to fucking die. Hopefully... Eating, oops, eating a stim pack isn't gonna fucking crash my game. Oh, thank god. Oh, well that, that's fine. Okay. Oh man, I'm just gonna miss every shot. Sounds great. Well, it's better than crashing. Which I'm sure it'll do again for some reason. I don't know why it's doing it so much. This is wasting so much time. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Thank you. Fuck. shoot through these. Nice. Beautiful. Hmm. Tycho! Fucking F in the chat for Tycho. Jesus Christ.
He's gonna try to do that shit to me. No damage. Oh, F's in the chat for dog meat too. Just vaporized himself. Canonical. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. For realsies, though. We're done. Oh, but the, then the outside. Oh my god. Holy shit. Come on. Well, that should have been more. There we go. Just a stimpack, son of a bitch. Crafty bastard. <laughs> Alright. Twenty seven seconds, holy shit. Yes. There's the ruins. Um, yeah, rip Ian, rip dog meat, rip Taiko. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Alright, uh. Alright. Alright. Give me a 10k XP for that. Okay. No, I didn't see Ian anywhere in the rubble. Oh, good. Take it easy. That flutter is like probably my biggest problem. Hit. Oh, I did hit him. That's him. You know what? I'm probably just gonna... Because if you're too close, the sniper rifle will do fucking nothing for you. Um, since... Oh, nice! He took out that floater. But with this, when we're close, I can do that kind of shit.
And I, I can shoot twice with this gun if I, I'm not aiming. We did it, boys. Oh, this homie up here. And off we go. Good round of experience points there. Best hand good in the world. Yeah, it's very good. I love it. Two two three pistol. That gun. Going down, might as well discover the boneyard while we're down here too, just to have it on the map. Okay, I'm not wasting my time with these rats. Okay, so we're sneaking up to talk to uh, Morpheus right now. We're not really sneaking now, but if you're not in a robe, these uh, nightkin right here, these invisible nightkin, they uh, get pretty upset. I don't remember inviting anyone to my room, and yet I have a visitor. Why? What could you possibly offer me? Go on. Fine. I will take you to the master, but if you are lying, you will know. So what shall it be? Do you join the unity, or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. I don't have to prove anything to you. Prove. Very demanding for one in your tenuous position. But I can respect your needs. The unity will bring about the master race. Master. Master! One able to survive, or even thrive, in the wasteland. As long as there are differences, we will tear ourselves apart fighting each other. We need one race. Race. Race! One goal. Goal! Goal! One people to move forward to our destiny. Destiny. Of course. Mutants are best equipped to deal with the world today. Who else? The ghouls? Please. Normals! They brought nuclear death to us all. This will be the age of mutants. Mutants. They will be punished for their insolence. Of course not. Most will be offered a chance to become a mutant. Those who deny this... Opportunity? ...will be sterilized and... Let go. Those that resist will be executed. I'm gonna fucked up. What did I do here? 
Excellent. Your talents will be... Useful. But first, you must tell me everything about your vault. I will conquer it and turn all those pure strain... Humans! ...into mutants. I'm gonna fuck up. They will give me the army I need to bring... Peace to the entire wasteland. So be it. Yeah, I fucked up. You think? Hold up, please. Oh, and then also immediately died. Uh, I don't know what, <laughs> why that took such a sudden turn. I just picked the wrong dialogue option, so I'm sorry. Well, the plan is to tell him that uh, all of his mutants are sterile. I'm just going to quick save here, too. I don't remember inviting anyone. What could you go on? Fine. So what shall it be? Do you join the unity, or do- I don't have to prove anything! I am no villain. You have no idea what I or the unity will- Of course. You All that- Resist! Yes. And what is that? Preposterous! The FEV2 virus doesn't destroy the reproductive organs of those it mutates. Do you have- Proof? I must digest this information. One moment. I understand now. You made a clever forgery. You made this up to fool me. Fool! Me! But it cannot be. This would mean that... All my work... ...has been for... Nothing. Everything that I've tried to... A, a failure! It can't... Be. 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 I... I don't think that I can continue. continue to have done the things I have done in the name of progress the and a voice. healing. It was madness. I can see that now. Madness. Madness? There is no hope. Leave now. Leave while you still have hope. And we didn't take bloody mess or have bad karma, so uh, the overseer will live. Though I, I can test a way for him to get attacked. I'm just trying to enter combat before he uh, fucks off. But that's fine. Though his death sequence is ridiculous. Knight Spearhead, oh my god, fat $20 super chat. The master did nothing wrong. I mean, like... To him he didn't, you know? He thought he was fucking helping, I think. Like, I don't think he really thought of himself as like... I don't know. Morality is gray. Knight Spearhead. Okay, hey, there's some centaurs for you. Everybody who wanted to see one of those. Centaurs and floaters. Yeah, nice HP, yeah. Makoto, yes, I agree. Alright, we're out of here. Alright. The end.
The death of the Master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But it is the destruction of the Vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the no-man's land. The ghouls of Necropolis learn how to maintain the repaired water pump, and eventually rediscover many lost secrets of engineering. They form a business, selling this technology to other towns. In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. They are responsible for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Killian Darkwater takes firm control of Junktown, drives out the last of Gizmo's kind, and then enforces his own brand of frontier justice. Life is fair and safe under his law. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California, with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure, and becomes a major research and development house. The Desert Raiders eventually regroup and manage to terrorize small communities in the years following your adventures. Your involvement with the various places and people of the Wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? You've done it. That's wonderful. Amazing. I'm going to try to do the glitch where I can I'm get into so combat and kill him. I'm so proud of what you've guys. accomplished. What you've endured. There's no way the people of the vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even saved the human race. <sighs> yes. That makes the rest of this even harder. Everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault if we lose the best of a generation? What if we are the only safe place in the world? You just gave us back all these lives. I can't take the chance of losing them. I've made a lot of tough decisions since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. All right, here we go. Oh, it does work. Holy shit. <laughs> Tim Tim told me about that. Tim Kane told me that you could do that. Oh my god. It's not that I didn't believe him, I just didn't know if it still would work. Holy shit. So if you just hit A repeatedly when you're coming out of the dialogue. Oh. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, can't can't have this playing. Okay, so that's the end of the game. <laughs> Cuz uh if that keeps playing it'll be uh it'll be a uh, fucking copyright tag. Anyways guys, so all you're missing is the vault d dweller walking away. Thank you all so much for uh hanging out with me while uh we play an early morning run through Fallout. I hope you all have a tremendous rest of the day and that your new year has started the the way you liked it too. So thank you everybody who super chatted and the new members that we have on the channel. I appreciate you greatly. I will see you on the next one. It has been Mantis.